A unique type of fundraiser is soaking social media. The Ice Bucket Challenge is a chilling way to raise awareness, and we found out it's also raising a remarkable amount of money for the local ALS Association. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau went to an experts on the fad and the disease for this week's street story. We wanted to show you there are people and stories behind the buckets and ice. An ice water shower is a bit too much for Ginny Curtis. Oh, it is fun. I would do it if it were a nice day. But the Curtises are watching. Everyone from strangers to a handful of their seven grandchildren take the challenge. I don't know if, how much of a fundraiser it's going to be, but it certainly is you know, uh, an eye opener for <laughs> when that ice hits your head. Their first glimpse of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis hit almost 30 years ago. Ginny's speech was suddenly slurred. She wasn't as sure on her feet. And then she fell in their garden. We knew we were in trouble. The doctor gave her three to five years to live. Before I knew it, it was 10 years. And then I thought, wow, lucky me. I went home. Here I go again. It's been how many years? 27. It still makes you cry. It does. It does. Because I'm so thankful that I'm still here. I didn't have any grandkids then, but now I do, and uh, I can really enjoy them. You start actually, you know, being very, very aware of your, your present tense and the, the life that, you're, that you've got and the life that you, you're leading. She credits the 28 tablets of four different vitamin supplements as one reason why she's one of the longest surviving ALS patients in the country. She admits she has less energy now, but unlike many with the incurable disease, she still controls her hands and in many ways her life. So when someone like Ginny challenges you, <laughs> you stand still. Here it comes. For the chill. Oh. Great. Oh, what a good sport. Oh, boy. <laughs> to find out who we're challenging and how much has been raised by these bucket challenges so far, log on to our website, WPRI.com. Oh. In Little Compton, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.